Let's enter the design mode. Please click Design. If you are new to 3 d Crown, you need to set the design values. If you need to edit other than the default ones, you can change the setting through the settings menu at the top right. Minimal thickness, cement gap means the space for cement to enter, and additional cement gap means the amount of cement to be added additionally, the angle in contact with the margin. Also in adoption, you can control the amount of contact with the antagonist and adjacent teeth. After completing the design setting, check Do not show again and click Done. You can reset it at any time in the top right settings menu. Next is mouse operation. You can move the scan data while holding down the scroll wheel. Left click to add or select. Right click to rotate. You can zoom in or out by scrolling the wheel. If the margin detection fails, you can search it again by pressing the control key and left clicking on the abutment. The margin can be modified. You can add or edit margin points by left clicking and dragging. Points can be deleted by placing the cursor over them and pressing the delete key. You can also move the margin up and down as a whole. If you set the step distance and click the arrows up and down, the entire margin moves up and down. The margin can also be initialized and deleted using the button at the bottom. If the margin is below the undercut, it will be displayed in red. Adjust by moving the point to an appropriate location. Now let's create the crown. Go ahead and click Generate. You can check the created crown through several tools. If you turn on the color map, you can check the amount of interference with antagonist and adjacent teeth. Views show data in different modes such as textures and wireframes, and grids can be turned on and off. In Custom View, you can save and view your favorite viewpoints. In the Model List, you can adjust the transparency.